This AI robotic woman isn't just a character. She's my co-creator. She helped me craft a merch design that started from an image of her. AI is no longer just a tool. It's an, an inspiration, a collaborator, and a game changer for designers like us. Let me show you quickly how to do that using Photoshop. Let's get started. First, I went to a website called lumi.ai to grab my image. I liked this image, and the site allows you to retouch your image. So I open it with the retouch button. I selected and highlighted the, the suit of this human and I changed it after writing a futuristic suit to give me other options so this one I liked and I decided to download it and then I upscaled the image using imageupscaler.com it's a free upscaler that you can use to upscale your images and then in photoshop i opened an artboard of 15 by 18 inches with a 300 dpi resolution i placed my downloaded image flipped it and removed the background using the remove background tool by the way you can slower the video speed at any time if you want to see the details of the process and I converted my layer to a smart object, added levels adjustment layer to change or to play with the brightness of the image. Then from unsplash.com, I downloaded a couple of images. The first image is this orange sky to use for my background. Looks like a burnt sky. I like it for the background. I adjusted my images added I then added a new layer and with the lasso tool I marked the area around the edges because I want to create a highlight effect using a similar color to the background so i filled this layer with a picked color from the background this orange layer and then i changed the blending mode from to overlay And then I deleted the unnecessary ports and this created this highlights around the edges of the human image and makes it a little bit blending with the background image, especially around the head. So it created a nice effect and makes you feel that the images both images are blending nicely and then i downloaded this text effect template from freepick i changed my or edited the text to domino and this keeps or adds the template effects to my text and then i grabbed the text and added it to my design and then I kept of adjusting both or all the images and layers and then with a, a smooth brush I started to delete the hard edges of the background and of my human images You never want to leave the images with hard cuts. It, it doesn't look professional. Added an additional text 
to my design using the text tool change the color to white and then changed the text to and then I changed the font to something that fits played with the line spacing a little bit downloaded another image from unsplash.com that are copyright free also added it to the background and then they changed the blending mode this time to screen and with my brush I started to delete the unnecessary parts of the image like so added a new image to the background also change the blending mode to screen and then I keep deleting the unnecessary parts with my brush and I started to add a drop shadow to my text using a picked color similar to the background like so after that I also added Uh, drop shadow to my human image Played with the settings a little bit to find something that I like And then I converted all the layers to one layer and Converted it to smart object and then I added the hue satur and saturation image to lessen the colors a little bit and then I added noise effect to the image to create this nice looking noise to the colors and and then I started adding a post posturize layer and I choose the colors to be six colors and this added this nice muted palette to of colors to the design which gives you how the design is going to look like after printing and the design is ready now but I decided to create another version of the design so this time I'm going to add a gradient map to the design and I started playing with the gradient map colors until I find something that I like So the, the final design is more of a, a brown or light brown color so I mainly kept the white, the, the black and the main brown color and then I add an exposure layer to darken this port a little bit and I played with its opacity level because I thought this area of the background looks a little bit bright and, and then I converted my final design to one layer I removed the black from the design also added a couple of overlay 
masks to see how the design looks in different colors and then after removing the black of my final design I placed it on a map uh, on a mock-up to see how it is going to look like and this is my final design so if you enjoyed the video please hit the like button and subscribe for future tutorials thanks for watching